So what is up, guys? We are here at Yellow Creek State Park for our first single track cinema video. I'm super pumped to be out here. The drive was a little longer than I expected, but I started hitting these roads that were just all dirt and all gravel. It got me super hype. I cannot wait to hit these trails. I've never been here before. This will be a first one for me. The uh, mountain bike project description had it listed as single track heaven, but I guess we'll be the judge of that. Uh, super excited to be out here with you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Let's make this a good one. What we have here is 21 miles of single track around the Yellow Creek Lake. Uh, apparently it's extremely well maintained and the recommended direction to ride is clockwise. Trails are right up this little gravel climb, which is that gravel road I was talking about. So we're gonna go check this out. Hopefully they don't suck. Apparently, there's some black diamond trails on this, but for the most part, it's all Rudy Blues. And we're going down. The single track is so well maintained. Oh, drop. Whoa, that brake did not want to break. Thinking I might've got a little bit of my chain loop on my rotor. That's a big no-no. All right, let's go. I'm excited about this. This place looks really cool. Oh yeah, bridge. That was cool. So one thing I'm noticing immediately about Yellow Creek is that the climbs are definitely there, but they're really well laid out climbs. I know that was just a descent, forgive me folks. Uh, but yeah, I normally ride at Pleasant Valley Park for those of my Western Pennsylvania brethren. So I'm guessing most of you are here as early adopters to this channel. But yeah, Pleasant Valley's climbs are very steep and pretty long too, for that matter. Wow, this looks really fun. I swear I have lube on that rear brake, that was almost bad. So here's some classic Western Pennsylvania single track for you. Roots galore over the pine straw. And you really wonder if you're rims are going to be okay once you're out of the section. Let's see how I handle it. Like, oh man, this is ridiculous. You guys probably can't tell, but these roots are like six, seven inches off the ground. Oh, this is kind of cool. A little roundabout. I'm no city driver, but I think you stay to the right. This is really cool. Oh my. Uh, <laughs> That was painful. Oh my goodness, holy crap. Oh, oh. It's a World Cup downhill style right there. Minus the speed. Let me go this way. There's a line right there. This is especially interesting on a hardtail. If you're wondering what bike I'm riding, feel free to check out my bike check. Uh, I'll link to it in the description and I'll put it at the end of this video. So this trail supposedly has 2,000 feet of climbing. I believe I just found a large chunk of it. It's a pretty big climb. I just went up. I think it was relatively early in the ride. Oh, those tires are vigilant. Pedals wrong, pedals wrong. 
that'll slip. Don't blow it too. Whoop. Oh man, yeah. Here's a little elevation change for you. Good Lord. Give me what? Another great reason to be out here doing this is the views like that. And try and find you guys an unobstructed view here of the lake, but this is just beautiful as is. I just went up super rooty climb gonna take a little bit of a water break and just soak this in. <laughs> 